What controls and changes do I need to include to run my panel on a spectral flow cytometer instead of a conventional flow cytometer? In most cases, you can run the same panels on a spectral flow cytometer as you can on a conventional flow cytometer with comparable results. Conventional flow cytometers collect emission from a single laser into individual detectors. Spectral flow cytometers measure the entire emission spectrum of each fluorochrome across all lasers. This creates unique signatures for each fluorochrome. Like in conventional flow cytometry, biological, technical and instrument controls are necessary to validate the success of a spectral flow cytometry experiment. Unstained samples, treated identically to stained samples, are used in both conventional and spectral flow cytometry to determine autofluorescence. Autofluorescence varies across different cell types, sources, treatments and preparations. Autofluorescence needs to be considered while using spectral flow cytometers. Like conventional flow cytometry, single color stain samples are required. These are used to calculate spectral unmixing. It may be necessary to use stain cells rather than compensation beads due to potential differences between cellular and bead autofluorescence. Incorrect antibody concentrations can increase spread, decrease resolution and lead to non-specific binding. Hence, antibody titration is key to the success of a spectral flow cytometry experiment. Spectral flow cytometry makes it possible to add more fluorochromes to your panel and achieve high parameter and multi-dimensional data sets. Looking for further free panel building assistance, one of our specialists is happy to help. Spectral flow cytometry. See your cells in a whole new light.